Good morning all. Uh, come to the allotment today. I haven't been coming up so regularly the last, uh, well, the last couple of months, I suppose. Uh, hence, not been the videos. Um, as you know, I start my growing season earlier than most, and so hence it's finished before most. Um, but anyway, thought I'd give you a quick look round. As you can see the cosmos, we're in my sitting down area now. Cosmos are looking beautiful. Okay, just look at those. And over here we've got cosmos at the back and um, you know what? I can't remember if it's his zinnias or... Yeah, I think it's zinnias what I've got here. Uh, I'm just trying to think. There is another one. I've forgotten what the name is. I'm pretty sure there's zinnias. You can see it's been beautiful. We've had a superb display of these this year. Zinnias are something which we're going to concentrate on next year, both here and at the uh, to home. And uh, yeah, it really has been fantastic. Um, the Rudebecchio I've got at home as well. They've been really good. So right, I'm just on my way out now. So. Uh, shut the gate behind. Um, I think I'm not now. I've, I, keep, I have been doing the videos, but you know what? I keep forgetting to put them up. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating some of the stuff I've said, or maybe I haven't said. So you just have to be patient. Um, I have got four raised beds in here ready for next year. I shall fill these up in the spring and we'll be growing veg. Uh, in these um, as you can see still got strawberries um, one or two have, uh, unfortunately slugs have got that and uh, I've had to throw them away but you can see there's some quite large ones around um, there's not a great deal still got flowers on some of them uh, give you oh, there's another strawberry down there um i think you can remember that i did cut these all back to the bare roots and they have grown back again um i've spoke to somebody else who's had an allotment up here for 40 years uh, who did the same and he said he's going to leave his now so that's what i'm going to do all i should do is cut all these runners off that's the for those of you who don't know about strawberries this is a runner and that's where the new plant comes on at the end. There's one a bit further along. You can just see the root starting to come there. So that could be put into a pot. You could have a pot next to it and just stick it in and it will root and you'll have a new plant. Uh, I haven't really bothered this year. I've probably kept about a hundred. Uh, I've got more than enough as you can see. Oh, I might as well show you around. I think they're the ones what I've kept. Um, the, most of these are out the polytunnel what I had last year. Uh, I've got a few weeds and things in. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've got more than enough what I need. Um, I know when I first started these videos I was saying about all the varieties what are growing. Uh, I've decided it's it's just too much work for me to uh, to carry on doing all those varieties so um, the ones really that I'm sticking to are a mixture of Cambridge favourite they're probably what most of these are not all of them some of them are different ones but um, the majority are probably Cambridge um, El Santa's, Hanoi and Christine are the three main ones what I'll be growing in the polytunnel um, there is one or two others. I've probably I've probably gone down to maybe eight, eight or nine varieties, uh, whereas I did have 23. But uh, because I'm looking after my parents, the carer, and I'm doing a bit of computer work, uh, not a lot these days, but um, I'm trying to get a bit more. Um, I just can't do it. I haven't been able to manage. And with the hot weather, um, it's took all my time to do the watering. I haven't been, I haven't just haven't had the time to do anything else. So there we are. 
Oh, we've got another raised bed ready up there, which is going to be filled. Uh, still got some runner beans growing here. We've had far too many beans this year. Um, French beans, runner beans, too many to cope with. Um, so I have gave away what I can and I've dumped the rest. Right, inside the pony tunnel, this is pretty well all finished for next year. Um, I can see I've got some of that vine weed coming up there, so I'll have to treat that. Um, I have got some uh, strawberries. These are the ones what I just stuck in. I didn't leave them on the mother of plant. I cut them off and stuck them in and they've rooted. I can see that they've all been okay. Uh, I've got a few more in here, straight into bigger ones, so I don't need to transplant them. And here we are. I've got a load of carrots in here. Now I have been, um, as you, you can probably see, I've been transplanting them. So we'll see whether that's a success or not. But there's a chap on the allotment, he had great success with that this year. He had some fantastic ones and he did, do, did transplant them by thinning down. So that's what I've been doing. Oh, the other experiment is growing them later um, because it's in the polytunnel. Uh, we're hoping to get some before Christmas and these here are kohlrabi so uh, so yeah we'll just have to see that's something you'll have to follow I'll keep you uh, informed of what's happening right now the grape thought that died off I haven't watered for weeks and it has suddenly grown six inches uh, obviously it was too wet so uh, that's got a second uh, life now, and uh, I'll have to have a think about what I'm going to do with that. <sighs> Rhubarb areas are like a jungle. I have weeded, but we've got bind weed and stuff in there, and really, I, can, I can't really do a great deal until the rhubarb's all died off, and then I can go through it all. The um, Raspberries, I've, they'd, they've been cut back a long while ago um, and it looks as though uh, next year's going to be better for raspberries. Rhubarb, again, look at all that. I mean, this was all grown from seed. Fantastic. Um, just that's, that's, again, just got to die off. I've been weeding in my raised beds. Um, got leaks in here. Um, more advanced leaks over there between the fruit trees and we've started tidying this area up we've got leaks here over at the back there there's swedes and I've got to cut all this back now I've left it for a few weeks I've cut the tops off and just let some of the um, nutrients and stuff go back into the soil but uh, I think it's about time now that I take that all up The currants and that, which were all over the back there, black currants and red currants, have been good. Uh, looks like next year should be a good year. Over there, just across the fence there, which is in between the twitch and that, um, we've got the yellow raspberries and they've been good. We've had a few, so. Um, as far as the um, uh, Logan berries, Tayberries, we're still not really sure what's what, but um, we've had some off this one, and the, the main one we've had loads. So, all in all, not looking bad. Oh, and just look over there, I don't know where you can see. I don't know whether I can perhaps zoom in, can I? Yeah, look at those, eh? And these flowers look beautiful. That's his. Oh, come on, hang on, what's it? Oh, my favourite plant, and I've forgotten the name. <sighs> oh dear. Oh well. Oh, I hate these times when you just forget. Oh, oh I'll have to leave it. Anyway, that is basically it. You can see um, Polytunnel. It's got mucky windows because I've been, uh, I've had them undrawn for um, most of the summer 
Um, but now I've closed it up. Uh, that's it. I'm just uh, planning for next year. But as I say, there'll be more veg growing. Um, hopefully I'll have more strawberries next year. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how the plans progress. Uh, things can always change. You know, I might change my mind again. But uh, uh, we'll have to see. Maybe I might not have all this rhubarb. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see how I'll dwell on it over the uh, winter. And, uh, and then I might decide to, uh, I might take some up. We'll see. Just depends where I can find an outlet for it all, because what, what we got down here about it's 14 plants, I think, along here. So I've got 14, I've got three over there, that's 17, one over there, 18. I've got another one over there, that's 19. Um, I've got three down here. So we've got at least 22 plants in the allotment. And there could possibly be more. Okay, thanks for watching.